Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As part of another video on Content Hub, I'm going to show you how um, how we can create our own um, custom uh, you know fields. So for that, you know, once you log into your uh, Content Hub environment, if if you go to your create uh, or any specific asset detail page. So uh, in this asset detail page, if you see right, there are you know different uh, uh, fields which are available out of the box. Like if I click on edit here, you can see right, we have file name, we have title, we have description, type. You know all these fields are you know available out of the box, and then we also have this image analysis. Right, so these are out of the box. But you know based on your uh, brand and your uh, you know business requirement, you might want to add you know specific fields to your um, asset entity. Right, let's say if you want to if you want to say that you know that this particular assets belong to you know so and so region if belongs to you know uh, EMEA or North America or APAC so you want to have a field which captures these details similarly you know you want to have a separate field to capture some kind of you know other metadata information so you want to have a kind of you know uh, some kind of um, uh, single line you know field also there so there could be you know different um, use cases where you want to have your own uh, uh, own fields there so how you can basically add these fields right so what we can do is we have different options you know to add fields like we have first of all we can add uh, you know a single line text field then we we also have an option list where you can basically specify a field which has different options to select from then you also have a taxonomy right so this taxonomy is something you know if you if you ask me like what is the difference between a taxonomy field and a regular field is that you know when you define a taxonomy field you can also use this taxonomy field uh, as part of you know your security arrangement you want to have some drm rights you know um it's mapped to your uh, taxonomy you know there are different rules basically you can run against you know um around taxonomy which is not possible with your you know simple uh, simple field types there so let's just create you know a couple of field types for your reference um, so uh, the use case is that you know we will create two fields uh, two fields here uh, one field could be you know uh, we will add an asset description here and that field we will add uh, inside your overview section itself right so currently you see we don't have any asset description so we are going to add that asset description field which is of you know simple text field second field we will add uh, which will be a taxonomy item so i'll show you how we can create a taxonomy and how to map the taxonomy to your you know asset detail page so let's start with uh, let's start with a simple field first and to create a uh, to create a field uh, as i mentioned in my previous post also like we basically have to go to schema right and the schema which we are currently dealing with is um, asset right so here you just click on m.asset from your schema and here you will find you know what different fields we have like these are the different fields which are available out of the box you have file name and you know all these things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new field uh, so to create a new field what you have to do is click on new member click on new member and you have two options uh, to select from either you want to create a property or you want to create a taxonomy so we'll just create a um, uh, property for now and which is of just string type there are other things also which you can select from uh, boolean integer long and um, everything else like we have json we have option list date time and other things right so for now it is just string and click on next and you just uh, specify that as as set uh, source here and you specify the label as well i just call it as asset source and yeah there are other things also like multi-language if it is unique including content including autocomplete allow updates and like that so the important thing here to uh, mention is include in content because if you if you you know enable this including content which means uh, whatever value you put as part of your asset source that will also be you know searchable right so i want my asset uh, source also to you know um no, let's not mix two things it is asset uh, description right so it is asset description let me just correct it okay so at asset description i just i'm i want this asset description to be searchable that's why you know uh, i'm i made this enable include in content uh, to be enabled right then <clears throat> we have conditional you know you want to have add some condition things there whether you want to make it required or not so all those things you can do that but for now um, we are good from here and yes so we have a space in here which is not allowed so just click on save 
so once we have um, uh, our asset description added here which is a string type we can just go ahead and click on apply changes click on apply changes again and from here our changes are applied yeah you can see the notification and from here let's just go back to our asset detail page and um, uh, if I because we added that uh, field inside overview so we just click on um, add it and we should find the asset description here right so this could be you know any metadata information which you want to put here so let me just call it as sample asset metadata anything right so you make the changes and then you just click on save so we are good with our first field so the second field as i mentioned we are going to create a taxonomy um, and the taxonomy uh, should be a part of a different section so that i can also show you how we can basically create different sections just like you know we have image analysis we have product and then you know we have this uh, overview so how we can have different sections created so um, to have uh, a taxonomy item created first of all instead of m.asset we ultimately have to map that taxonomy to also uh, to m.asset but we need to create a taxonomy item first so to do that uh, let's just go to taxonomy so we have in the manage we have this taxonomy and um, i want to create a taxonomy called as a asset source right just uh, no we don't have any taxonomy so uh, let's just click on new taxonomy and give your taxonomy a name and just label just click on create so we have an asset source taxonomy created uh, let's just add some values to that let's say i want to add a pack just define some label nothing much here and then let's see let's add some more values here call it us us click on save then you also have um, EMEA. Yep. Okay, you put this US here. Yeah, click on save, right? So, what we have done so far is we have just created a taxonomy called as asset source, and uh, we have added you know three values to that APAC, EMEA, and US. So the next step uh, is adding this taxonomy to your M.asset entity, then only it will be available to your asset detail page. So, to do that, again go to the schema go to your m.asset and as i mentioned before i want to add this um, you know this taxonomy item in a separate section so to do that what we have to do is we have to click on this new group we, do, we are not leveraging any existing group let's just use a new group here and define your group some name so i'm just going to call it as custom uh, custom properties something right and uh, yeah your name no. your this and your custom properties right custom asset properties will make more sense here right and then if you want to have some conditions applied to this group also you can do that on the group level uh, for now we are good then uh, you just click on apply changes yes so now you have your custom asset properties created from here you know we want to add some fields to this group so in this case as i'm going to add a new taxonomy item so select taxonomy from from this uh, menu click on select and then specify a name so i'm just going to call it as asset uh, source right and then you define a label as well the rest of the things we can leave as of now but yeah so the definition is something it is asset source here which is what we just created and again you know you have these conditions if you want to make it required you want to advance or there are different things which you can do from here but for now for us to um, add this uh, taxonomy to this item this is what is enough click on save and once your asset uh, once your taxonomy is um, available here you can just go ahead and you know yeah, so we have our taxonomy and created here just click on apply changes and you should be good okay so now uh, our taxonomy is basically applied to our group now if i go back to my page i should see uh, my taxonomy here as a separate section so um yeah let's just wait for it to load right so we have an overview which has asset description which is okay 
uh, cancel and then we are not seeing okay yeah so the reason we are not seeing this section here because you know that's a new section we have created so what we have to do is we have to go to the template of this asset detail page and we have to enable that particular section to be visible to our asset detail page and to do that um, what we will do we will go to our pages because see here this is our asset detail page right so whatever content what contents we want to add to our asset detail page is something we have to you know we have to specify as part of our template same like you know our presentation we have to add that component to our presentation then only it will be applied similarly if you want to add something in here that's the presentation in the presentation we have to add so the presentation is on the pages section here and you search for asset then you should find something with uh, your asset uh, detail asset detail you should have something yeah we have this asset details and now uh, what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to add this column to yet yeah, this one and if i click on this more options click on add it see we see all this overview so this overview is something which is you know currently available here on the overview and then we have this custom asset properties right so it is available in as part of our you know as part of this list but it is not enabled right so we cannot see that particular um, uh, section in our page so for that we just have to enable it and once you enable it then you will find an option to enable what different fields you want to show there but for now for us there is just one field so and you know we want to um, see that field in our page so we just keep it is um, give it um, same and once you are done then just click on save and close so once you do that um, let's just go back to our page again and let's see right so we see our custom asset properties here and if i click on this we have our asset source and if i click on that you know we can specify whatever we want and just click on save and then you just click save here so that's how you know you can add your taxonomies you can add your single line um, you know simple properties you can add your option list and all things like that so um that's that is what i just wanted to show you as part of uh, this video i hope uh, you liked it Thank you.